man, this your boy LaRon McLean, man. It's for the game of Philly. Believe that. Hey, chillin', man. Down here, Alabama, man. Chillin', man. Going through these lockout problems. You know what I'm saying? Trying to see when we're going to get back to playing, man. Trying to see where I'm going to be at next year in Baltimore or, you know, wherever. And they want to train him, man. You know, my trainer says, you know, Roland said, man, you know, it don't matter where we train at, we're going to get it in regardless. So we went out to my clubhouse in Midtown, you know, and got it in, you know, it don't matter where we at, like I said, man, he's pretty, you can see him, you know, checking out his watch, making sure his watch straight, you know, hand sanitizer, making sure his hands good, because he plans to get, you know, down and dirty with me in his, in his, in his, in, in his workout, man, it really just caused me to, you know, put my hands on him, you know what I'm saying, but I ain't gonna touch him, but it'll cause me to beat him up, real talk. Every two, you have to do one, two, then while you know we about to get the training started you know and everything man we got the tvs on there you know just give a good vibe in there you know and right before i start working out man boom flash up on the screen day 62 of the lockout you know what i'm saying they got a whole breakdown you know of everything that been going on when the when the lockout got got lifted when it got put back on and and now you know, it's, it's crazy, man, but you know, that didn't stop nothing. You know, that just made me even want to work harder, you know, for my workout. Mid-July. The season for me made mid-July, man. That means, shit, I'm gonna be working harder here until they come get me mid-July. Let's get You can say what you want when you talk about me, but ain't never come back down. Now, ain't never come back down. Now, ain't never come back down. Now, you might want me to quit, but I ain't gonna stop, cause ain't never come back down. You know, while we're working out, me and my boy Roland, we're always making jokes and everything, you know, while we're working out. So, you know, we always, he always talk about he hate using machines, like ellipticals and treadmills. Here comes somebody to ride the ellipticals, but treadmill, how, how much you all want to put How much you want to put Five dollars to get a treadmill. Five dollars to get a treadmill. So, you know, a girl came into, you know, the facility while we was working out. You know, we placed a little five dollar bet to see if she. I said she'd get on the treadmill. He said she'd get on the elliptical. And you know, and uh, she came in. Both of us are wrong. So you don't want to tell me no money. See what you doing? Yeah. That's a wrong shit. No behind that. Start doing a thing. We thought she was warming up, but really, she is. she was doing she was doing a workout, man. No machine, so you know, both of us wrong. Let's go. Man, my trainer, so he's so funny, man. I'm not a star, somebody like this Hollywood trainer, baby. Let's go, get ready. You know, cool, cool guy, man. I know I'm, I'm down with him 100%, you know, with my training, you know, but we're in the training. You know, I guess he, he feeling the way that, you know, the little mommy, you know, doing her workout. You know, he starts, he starts rapping with This is my first one, yeah, I'm trying to Really? Yeah. What's your name? Smith Chad. Oh, I have to make a sheet, but people call him Sam. But, um, yeah, so I actually... So what's good, you find us? You know what I'm saying, doing this thing. So he's a pretty boy. You know, some, some of the stuff, you know, that I'm doing this year is pretty much different than what I've been training with. You know, we're doing stuff like dips and moving push-ups, burpees, and running in place. I mean, he said he could work me out anywhere. But the thing that pissed me off in this in that day one workout was had me up on the ab machine, had me up there telling me to hold my leg, swing it over this way, swing it over that way. I had to, I had to cut it short, man. Up and down, go. Up and down. I had to cut a short on Roller, man. You know what I'm saying? He get a little carried away sometimes, but you know, I know it's all for the good, but damn, Roller.
Come on, Roland. Man, jumping around looking like Spider Man, man. I ain't about to do that, man. I, I, I can't do that, Roland. I ain't about to do that. Look crazy in there doing that mess, man. Look at him, man. Push. Push. Back. One. Got through the workout, man. Good workout, man. I love it at the end, man. Give me a great stretch at the end, man. You know, chop it up. You know, pretty much, man, going there and chill pretty much most of the day and pretty much just thinking about, man, day two. What's about to happen? What's going on? What he got planned? To get up that morning, man, you know, uh, get the text and the call from Roland, man. He tell me, you know, uh, day two balls, man, meet me at the baseball field, you know, down there where my godson play at. So, you know, I get down there, man, and, you know, you can see, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm confused about what's going on. You know, I know I don't play no baseball, so I'm trying to see what he got planned, man. And I get over there, man, and, man, we got them heels. Straight heels. Anything you want to do to me in those heels, man. You know, something so serious very confusing. <laughs> Man, my boy Roller, man, he's such a motivator, man, and really be getting me going in workouts, you know. But day two, you know, we, we had high knees, man, before I hit the hill, you know, and you could hear him just talking to me. And, you know, the more he talks to me, you see how he talking down to me. I guess my, my knees weren't high enough, and he tell me to keep my knees out there, boom. He moved me up the hill, you know, and just steady in my ear, steady in my ear. And that be the point of the time, you know, when I get done running to the top, Probably want to come back down and beat him up, man. You know, but I know it's all for the good, you know. But, you know, sometimes, you know, I'll be like, damn, man, just, you know, be quiet a little something. You know, right now in the workout, as you see, I'm to the point in my head thinking like, Roland, if you don't shut the hell up, <laughs> I'm about to drop kick you in your chest, bro. Real talk, real rap. Now just just, just listen to it. Might be with Vince Carter about to, you know, before he, he won a sign contest, what he told me? It's over. Right? Next step in, baby. After we done. Shit. Here we go. High needs in place. Hold up. He gonna keep going. He gonna keep going, man. That's what I love about him, man. He's, he's very strong-minded, man. And very, a very good, very great motivator. And at the end of the workout, man, he took me on the baseball field. So, you know, we did a few, you know, sprints or whatever. But he put me back on that damn band. You know, and had me doing some... You know what I'm saying? Crazy sprinting, high kneeing, squatting, just all type of stuff, man. Fire my legs up, you know. But I had a little trick for him at the end. He told me all that I had to do was finish with three sprints, you know. But I jawed it on, trotted it on in, man, and sprinted up the hill, man. There you go! <laughs> all right, all right. Woo! Man, I, got, I get to the top of the hill, man, you know. I just hear a little patter and feet, you know. <laughs> you know, but. Hear my boy rolling, hollering, right behind me, running up the hill. I guess I got him crumped, man. You know, but uh, you can see the guy go work out with me, man. Keep me motivated, and he get me ready. Straight up, man. Got me eating better, man. Just got me in a whole different mindset. Pretty much what I'm going to be doing every play in and out this year, God willing. You know, everything get handled, you know, and whatever team that, you know, I'm playing for. You know, I just want to give a shout-out to the whole city of Baltimore. You know, for helping me with my tough loser relief. You know, I want to give a shout out to the whole sweater gang. You know what I'm saying? Fresh, okay, cool. Put a sweater on. Believe that. You know what I'm saying? But we chilling, man. I'm going hard, man. NFL lockout. G up. Black Stars Net, Widow Gang.